A new season of Rogue premieres tonight on DirecTV. We had a chance to sit down with one of the show's stars, Cole Hauser, to talk about what's in store this season. But let's talk season two. Uh, it's about to get started, and as I understand, you are new for season two, if that makes sense. New for season two, yes. <laughs> you know, each year is, is kind of case by case, so this year it follows my character, Ethan Kelly, and, you know, he's ex-military, did two tours in um, Afghanistan and Iraq. He comes back, and, and he starts a company for corporate espionage, and uh, the FBI kind of gets red flagged, and that's where Tanny Newton's character comes in, and she starts investigating us, which you start to realize throughout the ten episodes is that we have this deep, dark secret of something that we did over in Afghanistan. So what is the deep, dark secret? <laughs> Yes, secret I can't tell you, John. I kind of figured that might be the answer. Uh, what's it like jumping you gotta into... Watch. I know, right? What's it like jumping into a series that's already begun? You know, either joining it, you know, just getting into a, a cast of characters that have already, you know, maybe behind the scenes have, have uh, formed some partnerships. How is it... What was it like joining this show? You know, with Rogue Season 1, uh, you know, there is a whole cast of people, but... It really was just Tandy in, in season two, so um, there was a whole new cast, and in, in, in success there'll be a whole new cast, you know, in season three. And so in that way, it was it was really just getting to know Tandy and and uh, you know talking about our relationship and our chemistry that we wanted to create. It seems like it's one of those shows where like it's intense, like you got to sit down, you got to focus, and then like when the twist comes, yeah. you're like, Pew! like oh, I didn't see that coming. Yeah. That's the idea, you know. Matthew Parkhill, who's the creator, he never gives away anything, you know. Um, and that's what I liked about the show. I liked about my character. And I think, you know, what people are going to see is, you know, you're going to have to think. You know, it's, we're not, you know, spoon-feeding anybody anything, you know. Um, so in that way, this show is really intelligent, um, you know, and I'm proud of it. You know, you know when you like, you, there's a big show that everyone's watching, and you can see like just the mind of America blow, and like there's like yeah. a change in a show, or like on Facebook, everyone's like, I did not see that coming. You all, when you're reading, or, like, <laughs> yeah. do you? Is that what it's like for you all when you're reading, you know, the script when like these changes occur? Are you all like, oh my gosh, this is gonna happen? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I I tried to do something on this show, you know, with Matthew, the creator again, is is. I didn't want to know what the end was, you know, with my character, but I, I would ask him little questions and he'd give me little hints, you know what I mean? And so it was a really fun game that we used to play together, <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, so that's on DirecTV, 8 p.m. I want to ask you for a moment yeah. about uh, Transcendence, too, sure. because that also it seems like one of those, like, w wait, what? <laughs> Another type yeah. of movie where it's you really cast. have to focus. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's an interesting idea, obviously, you know, the movement of matter, na nanotechnology. I mean, I'm not a big tech guy, so, you know, um, Wally Pfister had to explain it to me, but my character in the movie, you know, he's a colonel, he's an old-fashioned guy, and he doesn't really care about nanotechnology. He's basically, if this thing gets out of hand, I've been ordered to, to basically decimate it, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, it was a fun film. I, I got to work with Morgan Freeman, who I think is one of the great American actors, you know. Is he, he's so, he just has like this, this air to him on screen. It sounds like he has that same yeah. just like impressiveness when you meet him in person too, does he? Sounds like. Morgan is just impressive, period, yeah. I mean, he's, he's one of those guys where whether he's on camera or off camera, he has a stillness and just a class to him, um, you know, and, and working with him. You know, and Paul Bettany and, and, you know, Killian Murphy and, you know, just the cast around us and, and Wally Pfister, you know, the director. It, it was just a, an amazing sp experience to, to be around those people. And, and hopefully, you know, we did something special and, uh, you know, that we're all proud of. So. Cool movie, cool TV show. Life's pretty good for you, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, life is good. And uh, I'm talking to you. Well, thanks. Just as we as we wrap up again, there's so many choices out there for us to watch. And for me, I have to go to bed early because I, I uh, get up to do this newscast. But You better uh, not go to bed too early. You need to watch this. Well, here, here's now. your opportunity. Here's your 30 seconds to make a pitch for why we should all, out of all the choices we have, choose Rogue. Go ahead. Um, if you like to watch a show that you aren't being spoon-fed, 
you know, that you have to think, that you, you know, need to actually sit there and try to figure out what, you know, each ending of each episode is going to be. If those are the kind of shows you like, if you like intelligent shows, I think this is, is one that I'm really proud of. And, uh, you know, I hope that people tune in May 28th and, you know, that they, they're proud of what we created. Cole Hauser daring to uncover the truth. Thanks for your time today. Nice talking to you. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer.